So why do people go to church? Stay tuned. My name is Zeke Matthew, and welcome to Animated Christian. On this channel, we do questions about the church as well as original content. Someone once asked me, why do I still go to churches? And I started thinking, why do I still go to church? And a lot of churches will quote this scripture defending their stance. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 24 through 25 says, Let us consider how to inspire each other to greater love and to righteous deeds, not forgetting to gather as a community, as some have forgotten, but encouraging each other, especially as the day of his return approaches. You see, church is like defending this verse for the building. But notice how it's said to inspire each other, not dictate to each other. And you can find more about dictating and teaching in the video card above. To answer this question, we need to look at this differently. Is it the people who are lost, or is it the church itself that is lost? Ponder that question for a moment, and let me know in the comments below which one you think it is. This means I do disagree with some of the church's practices, but I do know not all churches are like this, and some do walk in their calling. So why do I go to churches? Well, I go to churches because God leads me to them to hopefully reach the lost within the church. And church should not be an obligation. It should be a privilege. So what does Jesus call the church to do? Well, let's look at some scripture. In Mark chapter 15, verses 16 through 18 says, Go out into the world and share the good news with all of creation. Anyone who believes this good news and is ceremonially washed will be rescued, but anyone who does not believe, it will be condemned. And these signs will follow those who believe. They will be able to cast out demons in my name, speak with new tongues, take up serpents, drink poison without being harmed, and lay their hands on the sick to heal them. Looking at this scripture, we're supposed to spread the good news of Jesus to the lost. But the church in a lot of ways has trapped itself in only accepting certain believers. But when the church truly is led by the Spirit, then something miraculous happens. There's a story I'd like to share with all of you, and it's something I have never forgotten. I was in church one Sunday listening to the sermon when the Lord told me to go over to this woman in a wheelchair. So I go over after service and ask her, would you like prayer for healing? She agreed to do so. So I lifted her out of her chair and a few others helped me and then we walked around the whole sanctuary and I started praying for healing, miracles, for her to be able to walk, then put her back in the chair. Right before I left, I heard her say something amazing. She told others, this young man prayed for me with great joy. Her words, not mine, and this is something I have cherished since then. But it was not I who healed her, but the Lord. So remember, next time you're in church, if the Lord is leading you to pray for someone, heal them, or even has a message, don't be hesitant because the Lord will make time in the service for you to deliver it. This is why I go to churches, because God leads me to them. And I believe the church is lost in itself. And join me next Friday, where we will discuss miracles. And never forget, Animated Christian is just for you.